was younger, I grew up thinking I wanted to be a lawyer. That's when I started realizing how a lot of Latinos don't really have a say. So I'm like, I'm gonna stand up for people, and I'm gonna do what's right. And I really wanted to be that one person that changed things. I went to a pre-K school where it was a migrant program, so it was mainly Spanish. And then I went into kindergarten, and that's when things started to change a lot because all they did was talk in English. It was pretty hard for me because I didn't know what they were saying. I wouldn't communicate a lot with people simply because I didn't know how, so I didn't have a lot of friends. It was always like that one person in the corner that doesn't talk. <laughs> In Oregon, you have to take the Oaks test starting in third grade. Even though I know I was pretty decent at math, the wording they put it in just got me so confused. I remember I just guessed on them. I would go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Definitely there were some times where I wanted to cry. I just couldn't handle it anymore. It's like telling a fish to climb a tree. It's impossible. <laughs> Cuando estaba chiquita, lo que se me dificultaba era en la tarea. En la tarea, porque luego me decía, mami, no le entiendo esto, y como yo no te entiendo el idioma también. We definitely have a lot of families who are not able to provide that support to their kids because of the language barrier. Mm -hmm. My mom has always been there. She's been there through thick and thin. Cuando se queda que tiene mucha tarea, nos desvelamos, estoy con ella apoyándola, 12, 1 de la mañana, 11. She's there with me. She's like, come on, you almost got this. You're almost done. I realize, you know, my mom's there. <laughs> when I was in third grade, I was in my classroom and I heard through the announcements there was this new program starting called Adelante Chicas. They said there was going to be a meeting in the library, so I decided to go. Right away we started talking in Spanish. I just instantly clicked with everyone else. I could make jokes. I was just me. When girls are proud of themselves, when girls have um, self-confidence, that is going to help them do well in school. That's what a journalist would do. They would interview them and say, hey, why are you saying these things? The Chica's ultimate goal is to make sure that our students are graduating from high school. Make sure that once they graduate from high school, they're also enrolled in college. But you have to get good at talking to a lot of I had no clue what was college. It wasn't something me and my parents would talk about. My parents didn't go to college. In Mexico, they had other obligations. I didn't really know why people went there or what it provided or anything. We know that our families all want to see their kids succeed. It's just that some, oftentimes they don't know how to do it. In order for a student to succeed, we need the entire family to be on board. This lady started talking to us about college, what it was, funding, scholarships. I had my eyes opened. I really wanted to get there. Que es muy valiosa porque a veces uno de padre no tiene las los requisitos o los conocimientos que estos programas ofrecen a los padres. I set a list, and I believe I still have that list get my grades up, start reading, because I needed to practice my English. I said I wanted to graduate high school. And now that I'm in high school, I added this new goal to the list where I said I want to become a valedictorian. At school, I started getting interested a lot in math. We implemented our summer scholastic camps. We decided to, that one of those camps would be the STEM camp. And that's when I started connecting science and math together. And I just found it fascinating. I started going into higher math, honors classes. Once I filled out my application, I got a call saying that I was accepted. 
Did we match drill these? And we also cut our sun clam. Okay, yeah. cool. I've never been in a plane before, so I'm really looking forward to getting a flight soon. I started at the very bottom, not being that one person that is considered smart. My grades currently are straight A's, which I'm proud to say. <laughs> I believe it's all due to my mother and chicas. Que darle las gracias pues a los patrocinadores y que no pierdan las esperanzas, las ilusiones y apoyar a las chicas, porque si yo tuviera, yo les daba. Pero desafortunadamente, pues tampoco tengo, pero algún día les va a dar mi hija. Esta Yolanda Lisbeth les va a regresar todo lo que les ha dado a este programa. In our culture, girls are told you get married and you stay home. Oftentimes, they are not encouraged to do bigger things. By us preparing these girls at a young age and following them throughout the years, we are assuring that they are going to be strong Latinas. We are preparing them to be our future leaders. And this is a time that we need our Latinas to be empowered more than ever. Without programs like Chicas or people that support Chicas, there wouldn't have been other girls like me that, you know, want to be professionals, that want to do more than just exist.